Hello, dear prayer partners and friends. It's Pastor Wolfgang again from Christ the King Lutheran Church here in Cary, North Carolina, bringing you greetings for Christmas. In the book of Isaiah, in the ninth chapter, we read, and I'm reading from the message translation. Isaiah says, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. For those who lived in a land of deep shadows, light, sunbursts of light. Well, here we are, dear prayer partners and friends. It's the second Christmas in the middle of a pandemic. Thousands have died. We just went past 800,000 dead in this country alone, more than 5 million across the world. This pandemic alone makes us a land of deep shadows, as Isaiah would say. But on top of the pandemic, we have economic challenges and deep divisions in our society, the threat of climate change, and on and on it goes. Except for the part about climate change, you know, I say I lived at a time that was just as challenging and just as difficult as our own times. This is the 8th century BC, before the birth of Christ, and Israel is divided into two kingdoms and faces threat from neighboring countries, from Babylon and Assyria, and soon there is devastating wars coming. And so it is against this background of conflict and violence that Isaiah proclaims that the people have seen a great light. And with those words, he foreshadows the arrival of a Messiah who is gonna come and rescue Israel not least from itself, and right all that is wrong with the world. I want to tell you this Christmas that this is where our hope lies as well. We may be living in the shadows of many challenges and conflicts, but we also have seen the great light that it's God's love and grace. In this helpless and weak baby of Bethlehem, the most unlikely of kings enters a suffering world, a broken world, bringing to us hope and peace. And I pray that this hope of Christmas may be with you this season and into the new year. Merry Christmas, everyone, and a blessed new year.